chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video your serious test has ended yes your serious test is over i'm telling you your pains will end your tears will stop new doors will open new adventure will come your way new opportunities come in your way the universe god nature is bringing events circumstances situations people to favor you to help you level up to help you blow up to help you grow i'm telling you someone watching this video right now you are done paying for your past karma so it is positive things that are going to happen in your life it is going to be blessings upon blessings it's going to be opportunities upon opportunities. It's going to be greatness upon greatness. It's going to be, I mean, breakthrough upon breakthrough. That is what is going to happen in your life this year. I'm telling you, new things are coming. New chances are coming. New opportunities are coming. Your best is yet to come. Your best life is not at the back of you. It's not behind you. It is in front of you. It is ahead of you. So chosen one, you need to keep on pushing. You need to keep on going forward. You need to keep on keeping on. Don't ever look backwards. Don't belittle yourself. Don't see yourself as nobody. Stop playing small. Stop belittling your small beginnings. Stop saying, why me? Stop complaining. Stop lamenting and saying, why me of all tr this trouble? Why me of all these tests? Why me of all these trials? I cannot bear it. I cannot handle it. Don't let such things come out of your mouth. Because what you are going through is a thing of the past. What you are going through has ended. It was too soon fade away. Whatever you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. But we are all dealing with something. Nobody have it all. As you see in me, I'm going through things, challenges, difficulties that even if I tell you, you realize that mm, then yours is even better. All right. But day in, day out, because God has keep God keeps giving us life. It means there is something great. There is something new in store for us. And we got to keep on pushing. All right. Just like, you know, the plants. God has given them life and they have to bear fruit no matter what. They have to live because the earth is a living, is a living place that supports growth. Same way as we have this life on this earth, it means there is something great in store for us. And no matter the life challenges, the situation, the circumstances that are not favoring us, as we have life, it means God is changing things for our good. It means the universe is working for us. It means divine powers are fighting for us for us it means we are going to make it it means there is something great ahead of us the best is always ahead of us and we must keep on pushing all right we must keep on going don't lose hope don't lose faith keep on loving keep on having faith keep on having hope because scripture says in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 three things will last in this world faith hope and love the greatest is love. So never ever lose faith. Never ever lose hope. Be optimistic about the future. No matter what you've lost, no matter what you're going through, no matter the challenges, the calamities, the troubles that before you, know that God is still saying something in whatever situation that you are going through. And the more the challenges are hard, the more it is getting serious, the more you feel like you cannot survive anymore, the more you feel like you cannot cope with it anymore. I'm telling you, that is the time that the blessing is so close to you. And that means the blessing is so huge and great. And you must not give up because quitters will never win. And winners never quit. Don't ever quit. The universe, God, always reward the people that don't quit. The people that don't give up. They are the people that definitely, slowly but surely, they are going to win. I'm telling you, slowly but surely, remember the slow movement of a lion it's not a mistake but it is a calculated movement of accuracy when you see the lion moving slowly slowly it is slowly but surely it is a calculated movement of accuracy for sure the lion is gonna get what it's gonna it, it, 
He's targeting. All right. And same way you are going to get there. Remember when Noah created the ark. All right. All the living things, all the things God has created, God has allowed them time, no matter their movement, no matter how slow, no matter how fast they are, they were all given opportunity to get in there. And same way, chosen one, no matter the movement right now, no matter how slow it seems, I'm telling you, your slow motion is better than no motion and you will surely get there. You will surely get to your destination. You will surely get to that throne. You will surely get to that promised land. You will surely get to that glorious destiny, the beautiful destiny that God has in store for you. All you got to do is not to give up and have that stubborn faith of never giving up and keep on pushing. No matter how hard life hits you, no matter how hard the uppercut on you, you must bump bounce back and reshuffle and I mean refocus and get that momentum and stay true, stay focused and keep on going. Life is going to reward you. God is going to reward you. The universe, nature is going to reward you for your effort, for everything that you're going through. All the pain will be over. All the hurt will be over. The crying is going to be over. I'm telling you, things are going to be okay. It is going to be all right. Remember, Abraham and Sarah, when they were searching for the fruit of the womb, they searched for the fruit of the womb for a longer time. They were praying to God. They were staying faithful. They were acting faith. But, you know, it wasn't coming. But they kept their faith alive. And God has blessed them at an old age. Right? There is nothing God cannot do. Remember, the woman with the issue of blood. The woman was going through that challenge, that problem, that difficulty for 12 solid years. Bleeding non-stop each and every day. Remember the cost. Changing of pants, changing of pad, changing of, you know, sanitaries. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be expensive. The woman moved from hospital to hospital to no avail. Doctors to doctors, no avail. But still this woman kept her faith in God alive until he, she, all right? Until she had an encounter with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all right? And the blood seized. All right, great. So many years are just like a day in the hands of God. God. God can use any moment to change your life. That is why you must not quit. Remember the um the man at the pool of Bethesda. This man was at that pool. All right, he couldn't row himself into the pool. And anytime the angels comes and stare up the water, all right. The man, if the man tried to enter into the pool, that different person enter. The man was there for 38 solid years at the bank of the pool. I, imagine mosquitoes that will be biting that man. Imagine what the man will be going through. Day and night keep passing by. The man was still in his situation, right? The man was still in his situation, but he kept his faith alive until he had an encounter with the Lord. With until God manifested himself in his life. All right. And he was made whole. Right? He was made whole. Remember Peter. Peter was on the sea searching for fish for a whole night. He caught none. He made no catch until he had an encounter with God. Until God showed himself. Until Jesus showed himself in his life. That was when his life changed. What are you going through? How many years have you been going through what you're going through? Maybe you, you are barren. You want the fruit of the womb. Maybe you want money. You're working hard. You're going the extra mile. You're committing 100%. All right? But it's not coming. I'm telling you, it is definitely going to happen. You see, if God wants to bless you, all right, today you are not able to save. But if God starts to bless you, you will see that saving becomes automatic. The saving will just keep flowing. The money will keep on just piling up each and every day, each and every week, each and every month. The money will just keep on piling. It is God that blesses. He is the one that blesses and adds no sorrow. Have patience. Keep trusting in the Lord. The Lord has something great in store for you. Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? It's going to come. Are your children going through some sickness, some disease, some affliction? You keep on praying to the Lord that this thing should be taken away from them. And yet it's like it's not being answered. I'm telling you, God is not deaf to your prayers. God is not deaf to what you are asking for. His eyes are not blind that he cannot see. He sees the tears. He sees the pain. He sees the struggle. He sees the hustle. He sees the challenges that you keep facing. He sees the tests, the trials, everything that you keep facing. 
facing and he is telling you god is saying to you today that your tests are over your trials are over your tribulations are over new doors are opening new opportunities are coming the tears will stop the pain will end everything is gonna be new once again keep trusting in the lord if he has done it for some people he will do it for you remember he loves you just as he loved any other person that he has blessed and he has something great in store for you he has good intention for you keep on trusting in the lord keep on remaining faithful keep on going the extra mile keep on committing 100 percent keep on being a loving and a kind person it's gonna pay off i'm telling you good things always pay off it's gonna pay off in abundance above all that you can ever think and imagine because god's ways are beyond our ways his thoughts are beyond our thoughts all right he has something great better for you all right so keep on hoping keep on trusting keep on having faith and never ever give up remember weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning god got you his eyes are on you he will never leave you nor abandon you nor forsake you for what reason will he punish you in vain no, you think God is just okay with the pains, with the tears, with the struggle, with the hustle that you're going through and he's punishing you for it. No, your time is coming. Okay, your time is coming. Just that we have time and season. Just that, we, just like, you see, we all didn't come to the earth on the same day or the same time or the same week or the same month. We were born on different days, different months, different weeks, different years. And so is the blessings of the Lord. If someone's own is today, yours is going to be tomorrow. If someone's own is this moment, yours is going to be the next hour. If someone's own is was yesterday, yours can be today or tomorrow or the next week. <laughs> So keep on hoping, keep on trusting, keep on believing. Better things are in store for you. God is a wonderful God and the days of miracles have not yet passed. Your miracle is coming. Your blessing is coming. God will bless you. He will show himself so strong in your life in a tremendous way that you will say, Hey, where, where, where were all these blessings, all these were? You will sing. I didn't know God would favor me this way. Yes, and you will see yourself as a favored child. You will see yourself as indeed a child of promise. You will see yourself as a child of prophecy. What God is saying is yours, is yours. Never give up. You will get it. All right, great. See you in my next video. All right, peace.